Nick Berkus reading Rod Drury's response to the question, how do I get my product to market and does it matter where it's made? Many young New Zealanders just think globally. Their email is hosted on Google. They are following friends all over the world with Facebook and subscribing to feeds from their favorite bands no matter what continent they come from. Location really doesn't matter anymore. You can think of global thinking as a series of progressions. Step one is being a nationalist. For example, buy New Zealand made. If every country did this, then it wouldn't work very well, would it? Step two is an exporter. But, this, but that still applies a win-lose relationship and has barriers both sides. Sometimes it's hard to sell in another market if you are clearly from somewhere else. Step three is just being global. Part of the global supply chain, Icebreaker, is an, an example of a global company. They design in New Zealand and Portland, buy merino wool from the Southland farmers, manufacture in China, and distribute globally. Getting these products to the market means forming relationships with people overseas, networks already exist to identify people that can help in your target market, Kia, the Kiwi Expats Association, and sites like LinkedIn and Academy are full of people looking for business opportunities and are a great first place to build your global relationships.